this idea that cancer evolves from an evolutionary process is actually, we, we actually know it happens. So this is an evolutionary tree, branch chain evolution. You have bacteria, they branch off here, eukaryotes branch off here. This is what it looks like. Well, this is what cancer looks like. This is from the New England Journal of Medicine. They took a bunch of biopsies, right, from this site. They took a biopsies from lung metastases, chest wall metastases, and you can create the exact same thing. You see how it evolves. You have a normal tissue, and then you have this mutation, this mutation, this mutation, this mutation, this mutation. These are shared metastases. These are all the metast metastatic cancers have this, but some branch off here, some branch off here, branch off here, branch off here. Why? Because you're selecting them. So not only do you have genetic heterogeneity, you have multiple, multiple clones, which remember is one of the key problems with the somatic mutation theory, but you can actually see how all of these cancers evolve, which ones you're selecting for. That's the way it is. And so all sources of sublethal injury are potentially carcinogenic because what you've got is this chronic damage. So even things like Barrett's esophagus, which is normal stomach acid, anything that's going to cause chronic damage is going to be carcinogenic. Inflammatory bowel disease. There's nothing particularly uh, mutagenic about it, but there is chronic inflammation, and the chronic inflammation is chronic damage. And therefore, you're going to select for survivable cases. Cirrhosis, any type of cirrhosis, is going to increase your risk of cancer. And we've always known this. In fact, it was sort of buried back when we were talking, when I learned about cancer, we talked about genetic mutations, but everybody's saying, well, any chronic damage to the cell causes cancer, right? Sunburns cause it, the radiation causes it. So the very thing that you're treating cancer with causes cancer. Same thing with chemotherapy. What you're treating cancer with causes cancer because these are sources of cellular damage. Anything. It's almost everything in medicine is like that. So what you've got is this reversion to unicellular existence, which is brought on by the evolution from chronic sublethal injury.